What's going on, everybody? I'm John. I'm Isaac. And today, we are doing the uh, long-awaited live axle swap on Taylor's $50 go-kart, even though it's no longer a $50 go-kart. Yeah. Our friends at Go Power Sports sent us uh, an array of parts to use, and they sent along part numbers so we can throw them out to you for, uh, you know, if, if you decide to do a live axle swap, you will have the part numbers for that. Uh, they also sell whole kits. Yeah. Yeah, they Already. also sell so, like a live axle swap kit. So you can either buy parts or just buy a kit. Yeah, yeah. Probably yeah. cheaper to buy the kit. Yeah, we'll have more information about that uh, whenever we get into things. We hadn't taken this opportunity to talk about it yet. We, we just dove into, let's do it. Are we going to leave this thing the uh, yard cart height? Or, uh, you kidding me, or am cat? I going to kill that kitty? Are you kidding me, cat? Hey, the kid, cat didn't even get in the video. Oh, well. Meow. Anyway. Meow! It's just kind of high. It doesn't take the corners well because it wants to roll over. Kind of yeah. scary. I've rolled go-karts before. It does not feel good. <laughs> Can you see me? Yeah, help it's... me, help me! <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. So, why are we doing a live axle swap on this go-kart? Um, because whenever we drive it around, uh, it just digs holes in the yard. Just one wheel spins, because uh, the engine is only driving one wheel. The trencher. Yeah, the trencher or the one wheel peel, as we've referred to it in the past. So, by putting a live axle on it, uh, the motor will be driving both rear wheels uh, to give us more traction in general more traction under load if you want a fast go-kart a, a live axle is absolutely necessary also with this live axle uh, not only are both wheels going to be turned by the engine both wheels are also going to be stopped by the brake better brakes yeah better brakes too better brakes because uh this thing when you stand on the brakes and get the rear tire to lock up which it only happened a couple of times because the brakes suck um it just digs holes it just it just slid it wouldn't stop Go Power Sports sent us all kinds of goodies for this project. Uh, as you can see, they sent us a sprocket for our chain. And now this is a 62 sprocket, but uh, you'll notice that it's a little bit more heavy duty than the 35 chain. It's gonna be a stunt puller. <laughs> That's right. Uh, they sent us some wheels and tires, uh, some mounting brackets for the live axle, uh, what is that, three chain. feet? Is that three feet? Yeah. I think you said three feet of chain. Three feet of 41 chain, some keyways, a brake band for a drum brake. Um, a, well, that's a... It's actually the caliper. caliper yeah. Uh, mounting bracket. We are not going to use the uh, drum brakes on this application. We're going to use the disc brakes. The uh, drum brakes are going to go on to the Rat Rod, Rod, Rod wagon. wagon. Thank you, Go Power Sports. That's right. Go Power Sports actually sells a live axle kit to make life easier for you, and it comes with everything you see here a drum brake, a drum ba brake band, uh, one inch lock collars, uh, one inch bearings, a sprocket, a 60 tooth sprocket for a 41 chain. Uh, two wheels and tires. Uh, but the tires, we requested... Them be slick. Them to be slick. Yeah. I think the kit normally comes with studded tires. Yeah. So we did request for the uh, 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 slicks. That's right. And, of course, the axle, which has been threaded at either end and notched for a uh, keyway. So that's nice. Oh, yeah, also some, uh, some keyways. Yeah, some keys. I think this is... The keyway. Yeah, yeah. Keyway, keys. And then, uh, if you need more than that, they also offer to add on uh, these mounting brackets for uh, ten dollars, I think, on top of the live axle kit there. And their live their live axle kit right here, what you see here, is uh, two hundred and thirty nine dollars. I believe it's free shipping. So Go Power Sports sent us some additional parts too. They sent us uh, a nice clutch here because, 41 yeah, for our 41 tooth chain. chain. Yep. So this sprocket is for a 41 chain, so we're going to need a chain and clutch for a 41 chain. So there are these two here. Um, 
They're gonna be links in the description of these two. They also sent along a nice mechanical brake caliper um, and a brake rotor here. So that I'm sure that'll be a nice little upgrade from the drum brake, although I'm sure the drum brake would be more than enough in most applications. And a caliper bracket. We're gonna use the disc brake in uh, this application, and we are going to save the drum brake for the rat rod wagon. Thank you, Go Power Sports. That's right, gopowersports.com. I guess the first thing we need to do is just go ahead and do away with this crap that somebody put on there. And I don't know if y'all can tell, but it is, I noticed this morning that it is actually mounted on, the plate is mounted on there crooked. Uh, it's, it's actually turned on the frame, which uh, could explain why we've thrown the chain a couple of times. Did we throw the chain a couple of times? I I, we, yeah, I think yeah. so. Um, so the engine was mounted on there crooked, which means the chain wasn't on there good. So that's a real ugly piece of metal. So we're gonna cut her off and go from there. Because we don't have an extra Predator laying around, well, scratch that. I have an extra Predator laying around, but I'm saving that for something else. The build-off. Build-off. If there's gonna be a build-off. I'm gonna snag the Predator off the rat rod wagon so we can uh, use it on Taylor's cart again because it is, that's... It is Taylor's engine anyways. Since, uh, we went to Virginia and picked up three carts. One of the carts has a Briggs five horsepower engine on it. I'm hoping I can get it running. Butterfly. Oh, it is, it's beautiful. Anyhow, I'm hoping that I'll get it running and we'll put it on the rat rod wagon because it will match the rat rod rod. Cause it will match the rat rod wagon a lot better than the uh, Predator. Yep. Um, it's, it, it doesn't match. We got new and then old. And, and I want all old. old. Hey man, you're not supposed to lift with your back. You're supposed to lift with your legs. Look at that. There you go again. You are gonna have back problems when you get older. <laughs> oh, shit. Jerk. Get away hey, from man. me. Hey man, you're gonna hurt your back, man. Hey man. Your car's been on a frame straightener. Hey man, you really ought to not do that. I am a buzz killer, I'm sorry. He hurt my feelings. Well. Boy, they didn't want that thing coming off. No. You know, you really don't need a lot of welding on something this small, you know. A five, uh, this thing had a three horsepower engine. Four spot welds would have done it. <laughs> Four spot welds. But no, they they put enough weld on this thing to hold a 572 Chevy big block <laughs> with 600 and something horsepower with a blower. Yep. Nitrous. The works. Twin charged. Goodness gracious. That's gonna be fun for us. I just cut the whole thing off. And we'll just start over from scratch. Yeah, they like welded that thing in there. Yeah. Is, uh, now is, a, is as best time as any to say that do this stuff at your own risk, people. Be safe. And uh, remember that we are not responsible for any injury you do uh, to yourself or others or anything like that. We're just some good old boys <laughs> having a good time out here. Try not to hurt ourselves. It'll be fine, but be safe.
Did you hear that bird? Yeah. It wasn't happy. No. Cool. Got to weld a hole in the frame. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was uh, because they burger welded on the back side, too. Huh. Cool, man. This go-kart is now... Uh, uh, She's been... Uh, compromised. <laughs> compromised. Or, you, know, you know what... Uh, what what is it called when uh, people loot like lose their legs or what? what is it? Paraplegic. It's a paraplegic go kart. Oh, poor thing. Yeah. Alrighty, so we're gonna get the frame roughly the uh, height we want it, and then we're gonna tack on these here uh, brackets for the live axle. Yep. So if you see something in this video and you're not exactly sure what it is, there's gonna be a link to it in the description. that so we can have a place to uh, weld to and also all them jagged edges i really didn't want to lose a finger or anything yeah good thinking yeah thank you so this is the axle it's going to be turning on these bearings here there's one here that ike already put on and there's another one right here we have to put two of these brackets on each side so they can sandwich the bearing and uh yeah these brackets are going to attach to that bigger bracket which is going to attach to the frame i don't know if that makes sense but it'll be fine if it doesn't just keep watching hold it hold up wait a minute i'm screwing up already what are you doing man i'm white trash and in trouble uh these uh this goes on first ah uh. Then. Oh, then that goes this. on? Yeah, okay. and I'm gonna make this outboard, you know, so it's gonna be more like this. Okay. Alrighty, so check it out. We have these two small brackets sandwiching our bearing. And then on this side, we just have this, uh, the big bracket. So the two brackets aren't sandwiching the bearing and this big bracket. The uh, two smaller brackets are just alone on this one side, and it's all attached by these uh, bolts. So what do you got going on here? I'm trying to figure it out. It comes with these uh, really cool... Uh, collars? Collars that tighten down and hold everything together. So here's how it goes. Uh, this piece goes on this side of the bearing. The split collar on that side of the bearing, another split collar on this side of the sprocket, another one on the other, then I'm gonna add one more, and then the uh, wheel. Okay. And it'll be fine. So it either go like this, or like this. Ah, I think I like that way better. Yeah. Yours has it where it's unloading out of the top. So we could do it like that. That is true. So, got my wheel on there, and got a keyway underneath there. And there it is. Got to feed this little key in there, so uh, the wheel won't turn on the shaft. You can find wheels and tires such as these uh, on Go Power Sports website. They have uh, lots of different types, but they usually run uh, for something this size, uh, $80 for two wheels and two tires. Of course, there will be a link in the description to those two. And this wheel is gonna be sticking out about right there, because uh, we run out of threads, so we need to have a little bit of room to tighten her down. Okay. Now, we can work on centering her up, welding her together. Can I tighten down on the keyway? No, I we're gonna to... we're gonna leave all that adjustable. We're just gonna weld up the uh, 
the nice brackets that uh, Go Power Sports supplied us, and uh, she'll be a roller. Cover. Mm -hmm. Cover. John's helmet because uh, he doesn't like to share. Selfish. Someone's that, calling us out. You're that dirt bike. We better get this thing ready and tear him up. Cover. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yeah. Cover. Cover. We can't do enough to put some weight on it and push her around and see what we think. Sure. All right. So what we've done now is we have uh, centered the axle perfectly. And uh, John is locking down the inner collar. What, you got it locked in, buddy? Nope. It's a different size. But do you have it locked in with the bearing? Uh, those, those collars oh, yeah, have a... Uh, uh, off-centered holes so when they match the same off-center from the bearing they lock it in uh, keep the bearing spinning from, keep the bearing from spinning on the shaft we just got the brake on it well more mocked up than actually on it we have to make sure that the caliper has enough room uh, so that it doesn't hit the tire yeah and we're good we're good to go so when you're installing your live axle, don't forget to put all your keys where they need to go. We have one in the rotor, one in the sprocket, and then one in each tire or wheel. Yep. So we have the axle tacked in place, not completely welded. We have everything else kind of tightened down. We're just seeing if it's going to roll. You want me to sit in it? You, you do the honor, sir. Alrighty. Let's hope I don't break it. Oh. Alrighty, let's see. Man, it's so smooth. Would you look at that? Cool. Now that we are satisfied with the way it rolls, we are going to weld up these uh, flanges the rest of the way. Hello everybody, we're going to finish up this here live axle swap today on the $50 go-kart. I need to weld this bracket on, we have it tacked and we actually rolled around in it, but <clears throat> we need to go ahead and weld the whole thing. And as you can probably see, it's kind of wet out and it's kind of raining. Ike says it'll be fine to weld in the rain. Of course, I'm not going to tell you to weld in the rain. Don't do anything stupid, be safe. Uh, instead, you'll just get to watch me weld in the rain here we go i just welded the axle into place i guess permanently as you can see right there right there and then on the other side by the way ike is going to be here in a few minutes he just went out to get our engine mounting plate that he accidentally took with him whenever we were working on this last so we'll be here in a minute hi ike is here it'll be fine what we have to do is, here's the old engine mounting plate. We have to cut that old hub off of it so we can reuse it and weld it back on and put the Predator back on it. Yay! So close. There it is. Cool. You Got think we, You think we're going to be able to use that? Yeah. I think what we're going to do... We just have to weld it on a lot straighter than the other people. So, we just need to find that sweet spot. Yep. We're not too worried about that hole, are we? No, Ike, what time did your thing start? 4.30. Are you kidding me? You know what time it is. Hmm. 6.30. Well, then why'd you tell me 4.30? Because I was messing with you, man. Dang it. <laughs> Ike has his high school reunion later today. Hell. Anyone who can guess what uh, year it is or what reunion it is. Is it the five-year reunion? Gets a gold star. Ten-year reunion. 
15 year reunion, 20 year reunion. Did they go, do they go 30 and 40 after that? You kind of gave it away, I think. Kind of did. Maybe it's 40 years. Maybe it's been 40 years since Maybe I graduated. Maybe it's been five. I'm not telling you. <laughs> As a reminder, everybody, if you want a live axle on your go-kart, you can go to gopowersports.com and buy the complete package from them. Thank you, Go Power Sports. <laughs> they also have engine mounting plates, so you don't have to deal with this if you're in the same kind of situation. Ooh, this visor's kind of wet. It'll be fine. I guess that was more than the tack. Oh, and it's on fire. It'll be fine. Ready? Yep. Fire in the hopes. That's the sound of a good weld. Quality. Land welder up. I, I thought we were tacking it. It'll be fine. All right. I can't see any. Oh, and it's on fire again. It'll Why is fine. this on fire? It's paint. I guess paint is flammable. The paint is flammable. Plates welded up. Not too bad uh, looking weld there, if I do say so myself. I think we're getting better at welding, man. Well, you are. Thanks. I'm just an expert. The engine is sitting on the plate that we just welded, and we just remembered that we have to put the 41 chain uh, clutch this is a 35 right now uh, because this new sprocket is a 41, which is more heavy duty. More expensive than 35, but uh, more heavy duty. In the case of the Rat Rod Wagon, it really needs a more heavy duty chain than the 35. A 41 probably would have been good for that. So we're gonna change clutches and hope that it still lines up. Here's our new clutch. There'll be a link in the description to that one. Thank you, Go Power Sports. I'm really liking the way this thing's looking, Ike. Yeah, it's looking pretty awesome. It looks like it means business now. Business. Absolutely. Like, that brake is going to be a million times better than before. We're not even sure if we're going to have time to hook up the brake today. Yeah. We're just hoping to get it running so we can do a burnout. Because I don't know how much riding we're going to do in this rain. So we got our bolt on, uh, and now we just have to put the chain on which is also a 41. And you can order this chain from gopowersports.com also. Link in the description, check it out. Thank you, Go Power Sports. <laughs> the chain Go Power Sports sent uh, was a tad too short, like literally one link too short, or a half link too short. So we went out and bought some uh, half links, some half links from Tractor Supply. And to be honest with you, we can't remember if it's Sorry. a 40 or 41 chain. It's a 41. It's a 41. So we've been telling you correctly this whole time. So our chain didn't really fit. Link. Yeah. Well. Oh, the chain? Yeah. Yeah. So our chain didn't really fit. So we went out and bought some half links and some full links. We bought 40 and 41 because we couldn't exactly remember what size the chain was. And neither of them really fit. The 40 fits, but as you can see, it's really sloppy on And that's there. after I've been hammering on it. But when we get this chain link on, all we have to do is bolt the motor down and we can go for a test ride. We're very close to riding this. Ike has uh, an appointment uh, at a certain time that is very soon. Wait, what time is it? It's already past time. It's past time Ike's supposed to be somewhere. So we are hustling to get this thing done. Uh, we have three bolts on our engine. We have- As usual. Yep, <laughs> as usual. We have a rigged half link because we're not sure what the size of the chain is. We don't have a nut in the bolt that holds on the throttle and we have no brakes. What do you say to that, Ike? It'll be fine. That's right. It'll be fine. Oh yeah, also the seat is broken and the steering is broken. Okay. It's just another day. Do we have a towel to put in the seat? Yeah, let me just wipe it Why does it matter? <laughs> yeah, I'm already soaked. Oh, yeah. It's a good thing we have those drains in the bottom. The <laughs> drains in the bottom of the seat, yep. Oh, that's funny. Flip a coin to see who can test it first. Do you have a coin? Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Yep, you got a hundred dollar bill. You're gonna flip a hundred dollar bill. Hundred up. 
I get to write it first. Okay. Oh, wow, this Monopoly money. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> That's all I found in my car, man. Oh, $100 bill. <sighs> Woo! I get to test it first. Crap. All right, fine. Fine. Good luck to you. Don't die. Yeah, you're going to get soaking. Before going to the reunion. Oh, you're destroying the seat. Ready? Yeah. You want this on your head? Okay. Yep, testing the live I guess we need to do a conclusion. Let's do a conclusion. While we're muddy. While we're muddy. Oh, oh dear. Lord. This is not good. Um, what do we say? I don't know. What do you think, man? Well, the uh, live axle is uh, a success. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's functional, all right. Well, <laughs> if you do this, <coughs> be safe and don't test it in the rain, because <laughs> don't do what we do. <laughs> <laughs> this happened. Yes. We got filthy. Um, it's pretty sweet though. Yes, it works very well. Thank you, Go Power Sports. Yes, couldn't you, have done it without you. No, that's absolutely right. Yep. There's a link to all these parts and more in the description. Check them out uh, at the very least because they sent us all these parts. Um, anyhow, uh, I dare say that this go kart is faster in the rain with the live axle than it was without the live axle in the drive. Oh, yes, absolutely, and it doesn't tear up the yard as bad it still tears up the yard especially in the rain yeah, especially now. in the rain yeah. uh with it'll be fine it'll be fine yeah sorry uh i guess next we have to uh paint the wheels that signature color Mint, and minty green that's right and put the brake on it and fix the steering in the seat 
Other than that, yeah, it'll be fine. No, that go kart looks like it means business now, though. Yes, it does. Like it looks pretty mean. Like, yeah. I mean, I don't know how else to describe it. It means business. The the live axle is uh, awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's let's, awesome. All right. Let's do it again, man. I thought you had to leave. I do. We can do it again anyway. No. Oh. No, we're already white trashing in trouble. Yeah. So. so. Check Cars and Cameras out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. What else? What else? Look at Go Power Sports. Go to Go Power Sports website. There's a link in their description to uh, all these parts and their general website. And yeah. You know what else? What else? Burnout. Oh, yeah, we have to do a burnout. Of course. <laughs> It's a two-wheel squeal. That's right. That's, That's a good right. one. He <laughs> was, was squealing. Yeah. Wow. All right. Also, you're welcome, Taylor, for breaking it in for you. Yes. That's right. Yep. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Stay tuned for our build-off. Facebook, Instagram, website, stickers, t-shirts. Lots of good things to come. Uh, I don't know what else to talk about. Yeah. The build-off the build off there's gonna be more info on that soon taylor ike and i all bought go-karts a few weeks ago and they're all from roughly the same era 1970s and we're gonna have a build off i think uh around december because that's when taylor and i are off school uh so that that's gonna be something to look forward to we're gonna have a build off and then a race and uh yeah to see who can make the fastest go-kart of course we're gonna be asking your opinion for certain rules like budget and i guess uh length of time we have to prepare so yeah uh be on facebook for that because uh you can only do polling you can't do polling on youtube that i know of you can do it on facebook though so that's how we're going to be doing that so anyway thank you for watching everybody gopowersports.com link in the description we'll see you in the next one it'll be fine